Now, man, when when it comes to social media, I like to say, you know, I'm from Newport News. I say it a lot. But when it comes to social media, I like to say, you know, you and CEO with I'm a dog. You know, of course, the other guys had their records. But I, I really seen when y'all dropped I'm a dog, I seen everybody get in tune, you know, from local people, community, DJs. Everybody was, you know, in tune with that record. Yeah, that shit was like a gift from the curse, though. Because it's like, yeah, a lot of niggas was showing, like, her, like a lot of niggas was in tune with the song, loving the song and shit. But that shit, actually, like, when people started seeing it getting bigger than what it was, it actually made people jab kind of like, I can't even, I wouldn't even call it hate. It's just like, hey, nigga, a, a, you gotta think, when we wrong, a nigga don't never want to see it doing better than him. So, a nigga like, damn, this shit doing that, my shit can do that. This shit, all that extra shit. And then that started making niggas start hating you for real. Cause when I came home, when I came home, cause you know I got locked like right after that shit. After that, I'm done shit. I really enjoyed probably like three months of goddamn it, doing show. Then I did two years. And then when I came home, it's like the like some niggas like, man, he ain't about to be on that shit, about to be on some street other shit. But I dropped I dropped all some along that shit. That shit did numbers. You know what I'm saying? Niggas see him about rapping this shit. But I see like the same nigga, the same big ass crowd that was around me. You know what I'm saying? And especially like, boy, when I get out. Been show your book four times out of seven days a week every day until the pandemic came. A hundred percent full, four out of seven days every week. So it's like there was a big ass crowd, and then it turned into a big ass crowd to a handful of niggas because everybody wanted to be the nigga. Right. Now you know at the time of I'm a dog, you know, and I know you spoke about the hate, but you know the hate actually does make some songs go even go up even more you know because you know you got people that don't like you that listen to your music and never say they're they're you know what I'm saying that they listen to your music so i look at it you know you giving them something to hate on you know what i'm saying they can't do what you doing or they don't have a song that you have so i don't think it's a bad thing it's just like you know where we come from like you said but they couldn't stop it so that's where I, i'm a little bit confused they could even with the hate they couldn't stop that song. So now six years later, I'm a dog is at 1.5 million views on YouTube. Local, uh, uh, probably the biggest local song from the 757. Would you? Would you think? You think that? Oh, yeah, 100. That is the biggest song, and then that shit won't even make the beat what it was. That was a song I had went out. I had went out all the while that shit. I was tripping and shit. When I begged these niggas to let me in the studio and shit, these niggas got them to keep going to the studio deep real right deep. They finally let me in that bitch. Let me on go. <laughs> so, so, you begged to get in the studio. I'm begging my niggas, though. They want, yeah, they want, I, I couldn't be around people for a little bit. I just got them kind of fucked all the way up. Okay, okay. So, nobody wanted to get you in the studio. You get in the studio. How you, so how, take us to how, how that song came about then. You got in the studio after people, you know what I'm saying, begging a few people. All right, this is how it really came about. All right, when they let me in the studio that, that, that day, I heard a little beat. I, had, I, heard, um, I heard a beat. I got them to jot down a little hook to it. Boom. That day, I didn't record that day. We were deep in that shit that day. But then, the next, then the next day, we came back, I recorded this shit. We came back, we came back the next day, and then I recorded this shit. But that shit, that shit was all right, though. Like, niggas, won't, niggas ain't expect that shit to hit like that for real. And then I was in there when I read the song, I got them at, I just like, I just got them in the CEOs and I was like, man, you got to get on this shit. And he got on that shit. So you made the song, you made your, you know, your 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 song first, and then you got CEO? Oh, he was in the studio when I was recording shit. Like, we did the rules, you know what I'm saying? We, that was when we was in the studio about 20 gigs every day. So... Before CEO got on it, did you expect it to, or did you know it was one of the ones just already, or you thought it was? Like, boy, I made a banger. I ain't know, like, I ain't know look at it like, boy, I get, I ain't even look at it like, I get uh, 10,000 views on that shit. I just knew I liked the song here. We were vibing in the studio to that shit. That shit was hit. That shit was hype. That shit did. That shit went up. Every week, that shit went up about 10,000. So when they got to doing that, nigga, like, damn, you were rapping now. Before you skip past that though, you you get CEO on the song. He he does his verse. Y'all deep in the studio, right? Yeah, I had to go back in. That's when I came back in on the last part. He snaps with my heart. 
So what what's at the at the CEO lay his for his verse, you do your you go back in a second time. What's the reaction in the studio when they hear it? That shit was knocking Dream Rich had best equipment, cuz I'm gonna go for the people shit would hit that boy shit with dirt shit with head and that shit. Nigga like boy, we shot the video the next day. That's how that's that's how hard that shit was. We were getting so many reactions off this, you know what I'm saying, you know, Instagrams and shit, all that shit. Cause niggas had fucking followers and shit already. So it's like that shit was just that shit got a boom. They were fucking with that shit. And before and before that, you didn't you wasn't getting reactions like that. Nah, for that time. Nah, niggas just like, you know, regular regular niggas out here put my niggas just fuck with me, like, you know what I'm saying? Little song we make cause we already were recording shit. But like little song we were making this shit cut to real DZ, DZ, Dylan, and Mark had the goddamn they already had the shit, so we don't like the music part. So that shit was just like that shit they do I got in the game with that right there. That was my and 